Hello, my name is Mrs Chalmers. Welcome to our numeracy strategy of the day. Here in Inverclyde, we use various strategies to help us calculate addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We use these strategies from primary 3 to primary 7 and beyond. Being able to add, subtract, multiply and divide in different ways is a really useful skill to have. Today, we will focus on the process of subtraction and the strategy for today is partitioning. Today's learning intention is to use pictorial representations and abstract thinking to solve subtraction tasks. Abstract thinking is just number sense. It's about knowing how numbers are made and being able to give reasons for the answers we get. Our success criteria is to show, draw and describe how to solve a subtraction problem using the partitioning strategy. We have also to apply this strategy to similar problems to be successful. Have you got your pencil and paper ready? If you haven't, pause the video here and go and get organised. We have used the partitioning strategy before when we were adding. Remember that we need to know about how numbers are made if we are to understand how to use this strategy. Knowing about place value is really important. Make sure you brush up on your skills often to be able to do this. How would you solve this calculation? 89 take away 35. Pause the video here for a moment or two and work out what you would do to solve this. Come back when you're ready. You could have used the counting back strategy. 89 take away 10 is 79. Take away another 10 is 69 and another 10 for 59. We've taken away 30 so far and we've just got five more to take away, which brings us down to 54. 89 take away 35 is 54. We could have started with 89 and jumped back 30 and then another five, and it would also bring us to the answer 54. Is that what you did? Or did you use a different strategy? Remember today, we are thinking about the partitioning strategy. So let's have a look at some calculations and use the partitioning strategy. To use the partitioning strategy, it's really important to be able to know about place value, thousands, hundreds, tens and ones, and know how numbers are structured. Sometimes a calculation can be more easily worked out by splitting the numbers into hundreds, tens and ones, or just tens and ones in this example. We know that 89 is made from 80 and 9, and we know that 35 is made from 30 and 5. We've split these numbers into tens and ones, and that makes it much easier to take away. 80 take away 30, both the tens numbers, gives us 50, and 9 take away 5 gives us 4. 50 and 4 makes 54. So 89 take away 35 is 54. Let's have a go at another one. Pause the video here and see if you can use the partitioning strategy to solve this problem. 247 take away 114. You might use an empty number line, but for the partitioning strategy, breaking apart those numbers will help you. Did you split 247 into 200 plus 40 plus 7? And did you split your 114 into 110 and 4? This should have made it easy to do 200 take away 100 to give you 100 and 40 take away 10 to give 30 and 7 
take away 4 to give 3. 133. 200 take away 100 is 100. 40 take away 10 is 30. 7 take away 4 is 3. 130 and 3 is 133. Is that how you worked it out? Or did you use a different strategy? Which one would be most efficient? Why? And here's a trickier example for you. 685 take away 434. Remember to pause the video here and have a go by yourself before coming back to check the answer. 685 can be partitioned into 680 and 5. 434 is partitioned into 430 and 4. That's the first part that we have to do. Now we're ready to subtract the hundreds, then the tens, then the ones. 600 take away 400 is 200. 80 take away 30 is 50. And 5 take away 4 is 1. So we had 251. Is that the same way that you did it? And now it's your turn to try out some addition problems using the partitioning strategy. You can start at the first column and if you find them too easy, move on to the next column. Remember, if you're still finding this quite hard to do, you may need to go back and use some concrete materials to help you. Pause the video while you complete the task. When you have finished, you can share your work with your teacher. You will also find an activity after this and a link to an online game so that you can practice subtraction. Why not have a go at place value practice? As we know, it's really important to know about place value for lots of different calculations. Here is the link to an online website. Here you'll be able to access lots of different subtraction games. Once you've played a few, you might want to make a recommendation to someone else, or maybe you can explain how to play the game to a younger person. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun trying them.